Today I need to make and restock a few items for our farm shop. We're gonna make gold lotion. Yes. Right, I am the assistant. So Julian is gonna make gold lotion. So what do we need? We need our olive oil, coconut oil, vitamin E oil, lavender essential oil, and beeswax. So I'm actually going to be quadrupling this so I will make a very large batch. And we love using the gold lotion for a lot of different things. We use it, um, obviously we saw it in the farm shop, but then we also use it for ourselves. It's great as a body lotion. Um, and we do use it all year round, but it's definitely uh, beneficial for dry skin in the winter months here. We've used it on animals before. Girls have used it on their hair to kind of condition the, the ends of their hair. We even, we've even used it on these counters, on these butcher block counters, because it, it puts the wax in there and seals them up and makes them look like new. So it um, definitely can be used for all sorts of things. So olive oil first. Yep, and I've got eight ounces of that. And I'm putting it into the stainless steel pitcher so I can melt it on the stove once all the ingredients are in here. And Jules is making a quad batch because um, uh, as she mentioned, we need to restock this in the farm shop. <laughs> I think it's colder now, so people are realizing they want to stock up on this stuff. And it lasts forever, so I mean, it, I've never had it go bad. Okay, so what's next? Coconut oil? Coconut oil. And this usually takes a little bit of time to measure because it's so hard. How much are you doing? I need 0.8 ounces. And these beeswax little pellets here are off of Amazon. Um, someday I'd like to be using our own beeswax, but these are so convenient because they're small and they melt very quickly and very efficient for the projects that we do here. You don't have to clean them and get all the bugs out like you do with your beeswax from your beehives. We also, Julianne discovered a white lotion, a whipped white lotion that we're experimenting with and that I'm really happy with it so far. Um, we'll have to do a, uh, a video on that sometime. We really like that. Put all my coconut oil measured out. Oops. <laughs> Come back in. So coconut. yes, we have. We love Julianne. She does. She is a little bit of a mess maker in the kitchen, but I'm so thankful that she makes all the stuff that it doesn't <laughs> doesn't bother me. I usually clean it up too. Yeah, so. that's true. Then I need to do my beeswax. So you heat these ingredients first, right? Yes. Um, once they're done heat, uh, heating and melting completely, this is this little pitcher is going to go on the stove top on like a, a low to medium. Yeah, low. You don't want to get these too hot. Yeah. You just barely warm them so they can melt. Then you remove that off the stove top, and then we add in the um, vitamin E and lavender oil, right? Yeah. All right. So now it's time to move on to lip balm. Now for the lip balm, we're going to need sunflower oil, vitamin E oil, rosemary essential oil, peppermint essential oil, lanolin, and cocoa butter with jojoba oil, and beeswax. And this recipe makes about 17 tubes, depending on how much I spill. I love the smell of this lip balm. It's so good. It smells, all you smell really to me is the cocoa butter and a little bit of like the mint. Now I need 45 grams of sunflower oil. It again. Let's try this. 
before what I have See, when you take too long, the scale times out. Yeah, That's the, just, not all scales do that, I don't think, but ours does. That's just the only thing we don't love about it. Three, forty-four, forty-five. Okay. Moving on. Now I need a pea-sized drop of lanolin. That's very... Um, very interesting measure. <laughs> but that's what the recipe called for. So show me what a pea-sized drop looks like. Pea-sized drop. Is that? Yeah, that works. It works. Okay. Now I'm going to go move this over to the stove and get it melted. So you melt those ingredients completely. Mm -hmm. Tell me... On very low heat so it doesn't get the oils too hot. And then once it's off the heat, I'm going to add my essential oils and vitamin E oil. And the point of that is so that you don't any damage any of the benefits or heat the um, oils here so and lose any of the good stuff, right? Yep, and that's why we're also very minimally heating these. Just yeah, just enough to melt it on low heat, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add all my essential oils and vitamin E oil. I need eight drops of vitamin E oil. And I need two drops of the rosemary essential oil. And 12 drops of the peppermint essential oil. I'm going to attempt and not to not spill these. Let's see. It'd be a miracle. I don't sometimes get it, we'll see. Am I putting the pressure on you? No. <laughs> I'm just really focused behind. You're good. You don't want to waste materials. And you're dripping and on you my notice table. I put them on a piece of paper, so if it does drip, it won't go onto the table. But it's, it's all it does is wax my table for me, so it's okay. Don't spill, Julianne. Too late. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you spill it. <laughs> All right, kitchen ladies, what are we making right now? We are making honey taffy. Honey taffy. So this is technically sugar-free candy. Okay, but sweetened with our, our honey. Yeah, gluten-free, sugar-free. Yeah, we're doing it with our milk. And our, honey. our honey. Farm fresh, right? Farm to table. If it comes out of the jar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, okay. Honey's not fast. I'm going to heat this up, so come back So every once in a while, the girls will experiment with new recipes um, and decide whether it is good enough to offer to the public. And if not, <laughs> sometimes we just eat it. They are really dangerous. They like to make all sorts of fun things. And then I have to, ch uh, you know, taste it all and test it. Marie, how much milk? A cup of cream slash milk. We use our... We did almond milk last time. Yes. So okay, we'll but today is the raw milk. Yes. Okay? And then all we have to do is put the honey and the cream in here until it gets up to 280. And then we move it over to the pan with lots of butter because it's very sticky. <laughs> and it's so pretty though. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like gold when you're pulling it. So Julianne, I mean, we don't have like all day here, girl. I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling with this <laughs> So, uh, warm that up, yeah? Mm -hmm. yep. And get it up to 280, add the baking soda, and pull the sugar. All right, which is the fun part, right? Making, stretching, pulling the taffy. Okay, I'm gonna show you what my little kids are doing <laughs> while my big kids are hard at work. I'll show you what the kids are doing playing. I think they're making a mess, having fun making forts in the front porch. What are you guys doing? Huh? What are you doing? Uh, we built forts. Oh my goodness, yeah. you, you can't even walk around in here. Oh, huh? guys, Who's fort? Got... Which fort is yours, Jesse? This is mine. This that's, is yours. That's how fuzz, that's how okay. I can't. Yeah. This is your no. fort down here, young lady. Mom. Tabitha, let me see you in your Mom. fort. Let me see your cute face. Mom. Yes, Jesse. What? What? Look it. What? I got my own snack storage. 
You have snack storage. What else is in your fort? Backrest. Uh, games. Games. A game. Peaceful music. It kind of seems like you have everything you need out here. I go and... All right. Well, you guys have fun. You already got... Everyone got all their school done, right? Some people are saying that they want to sleep out here. Some people. Just Jesse, huh? Okay. Not you. So you don't want to sleep kids, out here? Like, so I am buttering this pan. And if you don't butter it, you'll regret it. It's so sticky. So what you doing, Marie? You're just kind of standing around. <laughs> Waiting for the happy to get up to temperature. There's nothing else to do? Just stand around? Yep. <laughs> I've got a list if you need a list of things to do. Okay. Ooh, it's foamy. Okay, that's good. Frothy. Okay, so it's done on the stovetop part. You guys are putting it in a buttered dish. It's so pretty. Let it cool a little bit, and then we're gonna pull it. Mm -hmm. Butter your hands. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be messy. Maybe. <laughs> So now you get it out of the pan, mm -hmm. then you stretch it, then you put it into little candies, huh? So in essence, you're stirring it, but you're just doing it in the air. Yep. How long do we do this? Once you can cut it with a butter knife. Ah, so right now it's too sticky to cut? Yeah. So to once it's a little bit harder? Not a butter knife, a buttered knife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you need two butter. There is a difference. And the salt on there. Elise is making chicken pot pie and the girls are making dessert. <laughs>